Have you ever wondered what's going on underneath the fiberglass when you know the core is made out of plywood or foam and it's probably starting to break down? And you're probably right, because if you encase um, plywood in fiberglass, the moisture that's trapped in there will eventually rot the wood. Um, so, hence, we have a little crack here. We have um, a very, very tight joint here We're at the pivot point. It's extremely tight, so that would be indicating that this part of the rudder has swollen. Um, got a few dings on the outside. You've got a hole drilled through here. You've got a lifting bracket here, which has got a bolt directly through the keel. You've got some, run, uh, some propeller damage down here. Um, and all of those things can result in ingress of water. I'm about to conduct a biopsy and see what's in there. If this was a human being, I would probably be doing a CT scan about now because I don't know where to do the biopsy. I could do it up this end, which is where the split is and some obvious swelling, or I could do it down this end because that's where you'd expect the water to migrate to under gravity. But because there's a lot of swelling here, and because that's such a critical part that we need to strengthen, there is a bush in there. Um, that goes here. As expected, there's a fair bit of electrolysis going on there. It tends to be the way with aluminium. And uh, of course it's hidden in there and the salt gets in there. You don't wash it out properly. Salt and moisture. And uh, surprising it's... It, that it's as good as it is actually, but I think it's very recoverable. So, as it turns out, not plywood, but foam. Foam which is very broken down. But nevertheless, it's sound, it's not showing any signs of moisture in there. As it turns out, there's no plywood insert. It's actually built around a foam core. It just happens that it's a very, very heavily built blade, which is a good thing. So, in case you're interested, this is an 80 grit uh, flapper wheel on an eagle grinder. You use a slow speed sander, you'll get a lot less stuff thrown in the air. But, uh, The great thing about my climate here is that uh, even on this, which is probably the coldest day of the year, raining and um, winds coming from the west, which is coming off the Alps, um, all it requires is a heat lamp there and that'll be plenty warm enough to set it all off. Good morning. So now um, this is all ready for its next layer of cloth. And uh, I had to put some micro beads over the surface. The reason is I used some old polyester resin. I mean, not old really, it's about a year old. And some MEKP that might be a little bit older. And I don't know which of the two, but it does have a shelf life and it's beyond its shelf life. And consequently, it didn't go off properly.
it's been suggested that I uh, should modify the rudder so that when it swings up it goes beyond horizontal. Using a bit of premix putty here rather than thickening up a, thickening up a, a bit of um, polyester resin. It is some sort of polyester, although it uses a different catalyst. It uses benzoyl peroxide as a, as a catalyst, so can't quite say for sure what the compound is. But it's just thickened up a little bit and designed um, to reduce the sag. Not much good on vertical surfaces, mind you. After sanding the profile fairly flat with the belt sander using 40 grit, I'm wiping it down with acetone prior to using gel coat for the last coat. It's actually not gel coat, a lot of people refer it to it as that, but it's actually a flow coat which is a polyester resin with a pigment in it and it can be brushed or rolled on. And um, my aim is to finish this with two pack polyurethane because in my experience I can get a better finish that way and it's more flexible and more resilient. Gel coat or flow coat is actually quite brittle and uh, it chips quite easily whereas the two-pack polyurethane will give a really robust finish. As always thanks very much for watching and don't forget to click on the like button and leave your comments and thoughts. I'm always interested in people's approaches to all these different problems. See you next week. <music>